Oh, sh what time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. It's PYR, we sell you still candy. It's time for Candyland. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the very first Royal Goobs episode of the brand new decade, 2020. Wow, I'm so much older now. Welcome to the 20s, everybody. I'm a wise old sage with my buddy James. Sadly, we can't continue Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze because uh, Elliot uh, busted up his, his hand, his thumb. Yeah, it's real tragedy. Yeah, after this cutscene, Elliot might as well tell you how he did it. But uh, yeah, so instead, uh, we're going to continue with Spyro, and this there time I'm cheese, playing. There's a cheese, a panda, a giant knife, this guy named Is Greg. Is rain ever going to stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. Oh. Uh. We should go on vacation. Insert Washington joke here. Oh. Let's go to California. Dragon Shores, <laughs> yeah. I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Did we have subtitles on last time? I don't think so. No. Oh. I'm not a big fan of the text <laughs> the font. I normally really like subtitles, but yeah, that's a really ugly subtitle system. It's also pink, I don't know why. Eh, that's fine. Let's keep them on though. Yeah, might as well. Yeah. If you don't Allura. like subtitles, sorry. Professor. She's a, she's a cutie. <laughs> yeah. You like those pixels? <laughs> yeah, we are you gonna do them pixels, boy? Such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. <laughs> Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <laughs> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. But we have emerald balls. It's working. I've got a dragon. He was trying to summon the dragon. <laughs> Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? Race war. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's orange. To invite me to the party. Oh, his Ripto. Were you trying to keep something from me? Isn't this one called Ripto's Rage? Mm-hmm. A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna kill you guys now. <laughs> Is that Picks? Yes, I, I don't know. Chief character in the first game. Mm -hmm. I was mixing up pigs with the little dragonfly. Sparks. Sparks. I'll deal with you later. Who was that? Isn't that the save fairy who like zaps you? Mm -hmm. Oh. And we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now? I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! So they just took him out of the portal to mm -hmm. the Get beach, and they're like, messes, Zippity Zappity, welcome to the race war! <laughs> <laughs> Helter Skelter! <laughs> the adventure begins. So James will be playing, because... Yeah, I busted up my thumb and my arm. In a bad skiing accident. Sure did. Uh, but yeah, welcome back. Hey guys, just wanted to say hi. It's, uh, as always, been a long time. Every time we say that, I think it gets longer and longer. Yeah, this time it, uh, it's, it's actually been like two months since we've recorded, so. More like three. It's like February now. Last time we recorded was in November. Yeah, some, yeah, maybe it was November. I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. dude. We, yeah, we, no, I didn't see. Like, I think we just hung out in December. We we, we recorded like six episodes for DK Tropical Freeze, yeah. and I assumed we were going to continue that today. But then I remembered, oh wait, your thumb's still busted. It, it, it would feel weird to continue Donkey Kong with just one of us playing. That, that's our yeah. co-op buddy quest. So. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's see. Back to Spyro. Dude, I have so many things I want to say though. We got a shit ton of Holy things crap. To, to catch up the audience on. Also, each other. Yeah, I mm -hmm. haven't really, I don't know, seen James forever. 
Um, okay, well, so so you you there's that skiing accident? Sure, we'll start with that. We gotta start somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was skiing. <clears throat> it was the first outing of the uh, season, and I got brand new skis. I was really excited. So my sister and I go up for the day. Um, we're both out of shape, so we weren't gonna go there for that long. Maybe like three or four hours, like half day, right? About mm -hmm. half day tickets. Uh, and like, so we. Uh, my sister had been skiing even longer than me compared to like, so last year was the first time I went skiing in like, I don't know, 12 years or something, because I just oh, yeah. snowboarded instead. Uh, and so I got her back into it, so we started out kind of slow, um, and then we were like, okay, you got the hang of this, so we started doing some black diamonds, which was fine. Uh, but then we go on this uh, one run that is normally black diamond, but I'm pretty sure it's rated a black diamond when it's groomed. Uh, and for those of you who are not familiar with skiing at all, and snowboarding and snow sports in general uh when you go to um like a, a summit with uh lists they have ratings there's so. different difficulties like exactly. green blue and black correct uh, i think it's green triangle blue square or circle it, it's green circle blue square black diamond i think whatever it, it is green blue black and then double black triple black red pro line i think uh so we're going down this black diamond or like a trail to get to the main face and when we finally pop out from the trees it's like this super sheer face cliff with these giant fucking moguls all the way down and like i think i would have been fine if i just went down very cautiously and and i mean i didn't like throw caution to the wind and just like fucking whip my dick out and fly down the mountain or anything but i was like oh yeah you have to get the grabby spell uh, but I was like, okay, so I, I planned it out. I had not been skiing moguls in forever, so I didn't really know what I was doing. But I was like, okay, I think I turned right here. I got one turned in. I was like, okay, that's fine. So I planned out my next one, fine. And then my third one, I just like rushed it and went flying off this mogul. <laughs> planted the tips of my skis basically in the ground unintentionally. Uh, and gravity did the rest. It pulled me over and my thumb bent backwards all the way to my wrist. And my right arm, since I stuck out my hands, my right arm caught and just twisted backwards as well. So I had to wear a swiddling for a week, and my thumb is still busted. That was like two weeks ago. It was MLK Day. Martin wow, Luther King Day. Yeah. Dang, man. Yeah, so it was, uh, it was rough. Mm. But, dude, I, let me know if I'm talking too much on this. I was going to say, so after that, I, I was worried. I was like, oh, shit. Like, so it took me a while. My ski came off, and like... I, I was hurting real bad. I had thought I'd broken broken my thumb. Like I took. Ah, you must be the dragon everyone's talking. Why aren't the subtitles just like this? Dragon yeah, they look much better here. Yeah. Is a small feed. Oh, I'm a yeah, pompous baby. jackass. <laughs> is he a bear? Uh, I think he's a bear. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, as you were saying. So, <clears throat> I take off my glove and I'm just like, please don't be broken. Please don't be broken. Please don't be broken. It's not, uh, or it doesn't seem to be broken. Uh, but I go home and I, I like, uh, or we get to the bottom, sorry, I, I chill out for a bit, I steal myself, I'm like, I'm not gonna go to the uh, uh, first aid, I think I'm okay, I really think I'm okay. So I suck it up and we have to ski down a different black diamond to get back to the parking lot, we just take it real slow, I make it back, fine. But then, after my arm and thumb swells up, uh... It, it got real bad, um, and so I was like, It okay. just took a little time for, like, the pain and the... Like, it hurt, yeah. <laughs> but it just got so much worse. Sorry. Ah, oh, man. And so I ended up going to a walk-in clinic. I've never been before to a walk-in clinic. Uh, I go to this fucking walk-in clinic. And I've, I'd had a side note, like tinnitus in my right ear. So, uh, unrelated to this. Been, like, for a month or something. So I, I go up to the front desk and I'm like, Hey, so I want to get my arm, uh, or my shoulder, and my left thumb x-rayed. Like, I'm concerned it might be broken or dislocated. They're like, okay. And I'm like, also online, it says you guys can check for like, uh, I don't know, ear canal blockages or, or infections. Can I also get the tinnitus checked out? She's like, yeah, no problem. So I get signed in, I go in and a doctor comes in and just fucking immediately, I, I can tell he's just like in a bad mood or something. Oh no. He's like, and you had that bad experience that one time back yeah. in college. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he was, he was like nice enough, but he's like this big jack dude with tons of tattoos. And he just looked like I was wasting his time from the get go. And he's like, what are you in here for? I'm like, uh, I need my shoulder and my thumb x-ray. He's like, okay. He like starts touching my shoulder. He's like, does this hurt? I'm like, no. Does this hurt? No. Um, he's like, hmm. He's like, well, it feels out of place. I think it's broken. You're going to have to go to the ER. I'm like, uh, can I at least get x-rayed? That's why I came here. 
And they're like, uh, well, I, I guess you can get x-rayed. Um, <laughs> so, well, I guess you can come in here and try to get better. Uh, I don't fucking care. Well, no. Yeah, that's right. What, what he said was, sorry, I'm, I'm, like, enamored by the game. Uh, <laughs> you're fine, dude. Yeah, he, he's saying, like, um, I guess we can do x-rays, but you're just going to see that it's broken and go to the... Uh, he didn't say that exactly. He's just like, most likely, I think something's wrong. So if we x-ray it and something's wrong, you're just going to have to go get an x ray again at the ER, and you're going to have to pay double. So I think he was trying to save me money, but it came across off like he just didn't want to deal with me. Uh. And I was like, you know, let's get it done. He's like, ah, okay. And I'm like, and can you check out my ear? And he's like, no, this is a walk-in clinic. That's not an emergency. I'm like, they told me up front. He's like, I don't care. This is a walk-in clinic. I'm like, okay. Jeez. Kill a man. What a turd. Yeah, dude, pretty much. Goddamn. Um, so yeah, anyways, they fucking x-ray it. And he comes back in the room like 40 minutes later. And he's like, yep, uh, no dislocations, no breaks. Wear this sling for a week. And it should start getting better. And I'm like, okay. Mm. So... Oh, yeah, I can fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, dude. Okay, so how, how long has it been since you last played Spyro 2? Spyro 2? Yeah, that's what this is. No, I, I, I know this Spyro 2 since I played it. I don't know, like, since the early 2000s, since the late 90s. Yeah, I gotta say, this, this game, I forgot how beautiful this trilogy is. What, like 20 years? <laughs> it's just gorgeous. I remember, uh, I might have said this when we were playing Spyro 1. I think it was Spyro 2, though. I went over to a friend's house when I was a little kid. We got to stay up really late in a sleepover, like, 1 in the morning. And I'm like, people stay up till 1 in the morning. <laughs> it was, like, the first time ever. And it blew my mind. <laughs> yeah, I still remember the first time I ever had a sleepover. I was like, oh, my God, this is so next level. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, we stayed up until, like, 2 a.m. or whatever. Um... Oh, I gotta eat this rock. I was gonna ask though, dude. So I just gave like a fucking eight minute update about my arm that no one gives a shit about. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing? Uh, well, I, I've got a lot to, to share as well. Um, let me just uh, kill that guy. There we go. Okay, I got three more to go. Um, but before I talk about like all, everything that's been going on with me lately, I just want to say, so uh, about a year or so ago, how long ago was it? I think it was a, about a year ago when we first uh, when we beat the first Spyro game yeah. here on Royal Goobs. Yeah. I really wanted to play Spyro 2, uh -huh. but I I had to, it, like you and I weren't hanging out that weekend and I was like, God damn it, I want to play Spyro 2. Mm -hmm. But we said we were going to play it on Royal Goobs eventually. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. Nope, I, I really want to play it. So I, on my own, I decided to play it. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I, I tried it for like this game for a couple hours yeah. or so. And then I was like, I think you have to light the lamps, by the way. Like, fly past them and breathe fire on them. I, uh... It just... It wasn't the same. I, no. I, I felt like a traitor. I was like, <laughs> no, the magic is lost. Without some Neanderthal dipshit next to me. <laughs> I need to experience the race war with my friend. It's just not the same. I can't do this. I feel like a traitor. So I stopped. <laughs> and now, here I am. My patience hopefully will, uh be rewarded and i gotta say i mean i'm excited to play through this it's i think two is a better game than one i think people generally say uh this is the best one yeah i, I think this is the best and the third one's not quite as good but, but still good yeah better than the first one though i think um yeah but yeah so the third one is the one i had the most experience with but this for the most part i'm just gonna be going through blind oh okay like i i've, I've never i never played this on the original ps1 so oh. aside from the first two hours i I cheated on you with, <laughs> like, a, I had an affair. <laughs> Pretty much, that's how it feels. You dirty whore! Yeah. Uh, how dare you cheat on me? Spit to the lizard? What lizard? Uh, that's a good question. Maybe she's talking about your penis. What the fucking lizard? Now? Spit on your lizard! I don't see no lizard. I, I really don't know. Uh, you know, we don't even have to complete this section yet. There was this mouse who... He had a portal to like Summerwood or whatever. I think I have to do that first, so. Well, next time on Royal Goobs will continue and I'll let James talk more since I talked the whole fucking episode. Elliot, shut the fuck up! Oh my god! Fuck.